hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. I have one hundred yen on me. A hundred fifty yen? Soda, sugary and refreshing. No, one can drink a day seems like a no, one can. yen coin. That's a lucky find.
hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Yaki Soba Pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Soba Pond. But it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pond. I don't, but if there's one exception... I don't see Okino anywhere. Is he not at school? Oh. Isn't that... one of the Sentinel scout units? Why is this here? This is not good. And he's... You. You're the one from the shrine, where we cross time. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't move? Something's happened. Did Okino get him too? I should get him back to the hideout. Uh, don't tell me I'm going to have to carry him. What a hassle. <sighs> what am I, just another one of Okino's cronies? I don't have to run around cleaning up his messes. Gizmo. What's Sentinel technology doing here? How did you get here? I'll take a look. What is this? What were you thinking, Okino? What's wrong, Takatoshi? What's wrong is this core system. Oh, figured it out, huh? Okino? Professor Shinonome found it. Daimos? Really? Everyone knows that's one of the old kaiju survival sims. Even I played that thing all the time when I was a kid. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You're putting the fate of humankind's last colony in a video game? I'm just reusing the... Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Infrastructure. Environment management code. Relax. We're not going to get Kaiju popping up. Still. And hey, faster than building the code base from scratch, right? Come on. You love me, so you can trust me, right? The work's done. We've done all we can for the human race's future. As long as this colony's life support holds out, as long as I've got even a second more, I'd rather spend it with you. Tsukasa, you're right. I'd rather be holding you right now myself. I'll see if I can explain it to Professor Shinonome. Thanks. I love you, Takatoshi. Wow. What is this? That wasn't me, was it? But Okino and I were together. In love. It's impossible. 
day. What did you just show me? Put it up again. Here begins my final log. This isn't the same recording. Tsukasa's dead. <sighs> the medical bio kits are no good to me now. So, I only got an hour or two left. <sighs> Why did it come to this? It was all logistical debate over Project Ark. An energy dispute. Then Tsukasa, he argued to cancel the plan. To divert the energy to life support. If that damn Ogata and his cronies hadn't come armed... No. Too late to point fingers now. Izumi-san shot Tsukasa. So I made him pay. Him and his allies. As for the survivors, there's Professor Shinonome and Ida. They made it out safe. And me. Though, I figure I don't have long left. The hangar's blown out. And the colony's in ruins. It won't even take 20 hours. All we've worked for will be gone. I came here so I could protect people. And now I'll die here. With my friend's blood on my hands. If... Project Ark actually goes through. If... I actually get to be reborn somehow. I hope I live to protect the... Protect... All my friends. My friends. My Tsukas. Jesus Christ, that explains why it was so funny. At the start, it was all a setup to immediately bring you down with that log. It's actually really well done. Holy shit! Reborn. Okino was killed. What did I just see? Why do I have this pit in my stomach? Okino, where are you? His biometrics unlocked those personal logs. That was... this world's takatuki san Yeah, I brought him here. Looks like Okino's with him, too. Okino! Oh, good. You're safe. Hijiyama-kun? What's wrong? Why are you so worked up? Uh, what? That image. It was definitely Okino. But what even was that? Uh, Something on my face, or...? You didn't go to school today? Oh, yeah. I skipped to do a little time travel. Huh? Wait, don't tell me. Were you out looking for me at school? No, uh... No, really? Wait, d were you out... No! Well, I'm glad he's safe. Why is that a good thing? Why does seeing Okino make me feel better? So you're still dressing like that. You! Whoa there. You move, I shoot. Bastard must have followed me. You led me right to Okino's doorstep. No. You're here to kill him? Hijiyama-kun, calm down. He's A. Sekigahara. He and I play for the same team. <sighs> Isn't that right? You've done really well holding on like that. I think I know why you're here. You want what only I can give you. You can drop the gun. I won't run anymore. Okino. I need it. Please, help me. Sure. Since you finally asked nicely. You two... Don't tell me. You two are... Steady? <laughs> what if we are? What does that matter to you? <clears throat> Why is Okino such a troll? Do you just enjoy teasing him like that? I honestly wouldn't be surprised. 
All right. Damn that Okino. How long is he going to toy with me? Then, I'm not thinking straight myself. Okino's a man. Why was I so scared that Sekigahara would steal him? That damn Okino. That was too far for a joke. <sighs> anyway, what was going on with those talking images? If I recall, they said something about being reborn? Noodles, stir fry, I don't know, but if there's one... So the Sentinel's a web... It's strange to say, but after all, even one of... Now, where is Okino? Time. Okino. Here's the plan. I need to get some information out of the nurse's office. So I need you to distract the school nurse, Morimura. Just make sure she doesn't get to her office before I'm done. Morimura is wearing a big white coat. Can't miss her. All I need is about ten minutes. Hey! You're a lifesaver. Okino's trying to sneak into the nurse's office, so I have to keep Morimura occupied in the schoolyard. She should be wearing a white coat. No. Oh, that must be her. So can you take care of that? Yes, ma'am. Well, she, uh, she seems like quite a teacher. I can imagine the boys have a hard time focusing on class. Hmm, <laughs> fair enough. No, there... No. I guess there's no more change. Now that's done. Oh, wait. Yes? Uh, uh well, th there was an accident behind the school. A student's been injured. Oh no. Can you help me get them to the nurse's office? Uh, well, actually... They can't move because they broke their leg. Oh, that's awful. We'll have to call them an ambulance quick. Wait, I mean, uh, th their leg's mostly fine, actually. They scraped their arm. Well, their entire body. They're... You're a horrible liar, man. Very... scraped. Maybe you should come and see for yourself. You don't even go to this school, do you? I know that uniform. You're from Nigakuri High, aren't you? Are you trying to pull pranks on teachers? The jig is up. What year are you? Tell me your name. You're coming with me to the student guidance room. Who's your homeroom teacher? What year are you? Tell me your... I'm about time for a retreat. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I guess I look for change here. Oh, that's... A hundred yen coin. That's a lucky find. Oh! So what do I do now exactly? find that is honestly an interesting place to find a coin okay. 
guess I go to the cafeteria? That's a lucky find. I'm actually curious. I have three hundred. Finest Yaki Silva Pond, please. Sorry for making you wait, Yaki Silva Pond, but it's okay now. Time to dig in. Mm. Mm. <laughs> delicious. Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pong. This place always helps me relax. Some kind of nostalgia, I suppose. The building still smells like it did back then. Back then, I was just focused on training to pilot the Sentinel. I never imagined I'd end up like this. What's wrong? You can take a closer look. <sighs> what do you think? I remember my first time seeing it too. The thrill of it all left me speechless. So this is the Sentinel. That's right. Look at those arms. Those legs, it's like an iron giant. A 2,000 ton invincible iron giant at that. You know, I actually rather like that movie, The Iron Giant. It was really, it was really well done and touching. Those batteries on the front like a battleships I don't know much about the technical side but it uses an electromagnetic field instead of gunpowder one ton of shells in a single salvo a ton they're just like the main batteries on the Nagato 
And those new flying bombs equipped on its back? They control their own path. Never miss a mark. How is that possible? It will revolutionize war as we know it. If all that's true, then... It sounds like a gift from the gods. Or something out of a science fiction novel. Professor Doji can tell you the specifics. Apparently, it's based on this technology out of Germany. And I suggest you leave the details to the engineers. All we need to do is strap in and protect our homeland. And if I'm not able to, that duty will fall to you. Aren't there any better candidates among the adults? Why did they turn to students like us? The Sentinel's no ordinary machine. It chooses its pilots. You and I were, apparently, the only viable choices. Hey, you two. Huh? Kiriko-san! Why are you here? This area should be highly restricted. Oh, you know, I'm just delivering documents on the Professor's behalf. It's fine, Keitaro. She's the Professor's daughter. I have permission. Come with me. We'd better start on your sync connection adjustments. Well, the Professor wants to anyway. I'm just the messenger. <sighs> Thank you for passing that along, Kiriko-san. Let's go, Keitaro. Since I never went back, Keitaro should have been made the only Sentinel pilot. But nothing in the history books even mentions him. Maybe they couldn't get the Sentinel ready in time. <sighs> it can't be. It is, if it isn't Keitaro, in the flesh. Who are you? Do I look that different? It's me, Hijiyama. I never imagined you'd wind up here too. Takatoshi-san? <sighs> it's the hair, isn't it? I suppose I can't blame you for not recognizing me. I've been living here for half a year now myself. It's yeah, time to grow. Take a closer look. I swear, it's me. <sighs> It really is you, Takatoshi-san. Are you hungry at all? Come see where I'm staying. I'll treat you to some yakisoba pan. Oh, no. I'm fine. These days, I'm in the care of Karabe's grandchild. I see. But I'm telling you, you've got to try this yakisoba pan. It's the most delicious food this era has to offer. Takatoshi-san... Have you had the chance to try any hamburger? I, I, I already knew that was coming. What is this hamburger? I have reason to believe it's the greatest culinary invention in history. You overestimate your burger, my friend. <laughs> you overestimate your burger, my friend. Okino said he didn't want anyone knowing he was here. Best not to go talking about Kiriko Doji either. What happened to the Sentinel? Well, that's actually how I came to this era. What, through the Sentinel? It has the capacity to time travel. <clears throat> so it's true. It really is a weapon from the future. Where is the Sentinel? Somewhere nearby? It is around here, but... I can't move it. Shikishima and Nasera's government caught wind of it too. They've seized the Sentinel. Dear gods. So this is why you disappeared. You came here. What happened after I left? You escaped as an accomplice to Kiriko Doji. At least, that's what all the reports said. Nothing doing! Do you think I'm a spy as well? No chance of that. But, even if you were a spy, you wouldn't face any punishment for it. What do you mean by that? There's nobody left in our time to authorize it. So... We lost the war. Just like in the history books. It's nothing to do with the war. The monsters destroyed everything. What, what do you mean? Explain yourself. Hold it, Okino. 
Keitaro was talking about some horde of monsters. I want a real explanation. Hey! This place... I think it'd be better to show you, instead of trying to explain. So if we go back to the 1940s... So it's true. This shrine held a way to travel across time. You're coming, right? Of course. Then let's get going. Everywhere here, it's the same thing. Tamalsan's house should have been around here. Not that you can tell with it like this. It's just like Keitaro said. There's not a soul in the factory, or the bunker. Doesn't look like there's anyone around here either. You'd think this place was hit by one of the air raids, but there isn't even a single body. No sign of any international aid or intervention. Because Japan wasn't the only one hit. If I had to guess, this is the state of the entire world. What? What are those? them then the ones you've been talking about yeah they're all daimos destroyers of worlds did these monsters eat everyone they don't eat the people have all been captured thanks to a buried ufo well a saucer a saucer that's what the daimos are after their goal is to break through to that giant underground saucer Specifically, to get in contact with its tech. That triggers the saucer's shifter, which teleports civilians. As to where they go, or why the Daimos do it, we don't know. So my mother... and Tamausan, these things took them away? Wait, if the world was destroyed in the 1940s, then the land in 1985 should be... It's hitting you too, huh? Does that mean these are parallel worlds? I'm impressed you even know the concept. You used to borrow Keitaro science fiction novels. At the that, actually, that actually explains a lot. There's this reality and the other aren't connected by causality. Nothing makes sense anymore. If this is a nightmare, I want to wake up. Just looking at this, it doesn't feel real. Yeah, maybe it doesn't. Yes. Mm hmm What am I supposed to do now? If I'd been there, before my homeland lost everything, if I'd fought in the Sentinel, Maybe we'd still have some hope left. According to Okino, that chance is long gone. But he might still know something. I feel so powerless. In the end, all I can do is rely on him. I... So the Sentinel's a... It's... He's telling that even I know this is... How do I make a difference? Noodle stir. I don't trust much in this post, but if there's one. Now, where is.
Kazoki now. Happened to the money you got last time? No. Students like you at our school? I've never seen you around. What school do you attend? Can't mind his own business. I've never seen you around. Can't mind. Not feeling great? Is that obvious? What happened? I looked at the wrong textbook. I was studying for the wrong subject the whole night. That happens. And of course, the teacher just had to call on me. Yikes. So a total trash fire. the show tonight oh so that's it i was wondering why you've been missing practice what's the show it's uh midnight meow meow uh i'm just a big fan you know back to front oh right that show with the pop stars what something wrong with that i mean it's fine but no they're Oh no, not this again. <laughs> Understanding. No, I guess it wasn't a misunderstanding at all. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I missed dialogue. Exactly, are you doing? Really? What exact? I've never seen you around. Can't mind us. Really? 
What exactly? Uh, what's got you all nervous? I just don't want to miss the show tonight. Oh, so that's it. I was wondering why you didn't miss the show. What's the show? It's, uh... uh hold it right there. I'm just a big fan, you know? Back to Kato front. Senpai. Oh, uh, right. That show with the pop stars. What? Something I'm wrong with that? I remembered I mean, something I have fine, to do. But... That's a lucky find. I have... Coffee, huh? It's good. Sweet, too. more tomorrow. I have your finest yaki silver pond, please. Sorry for me, but it's okay. <laughs> Deli Impossibly delicious. But of course it is. It's Yaki Soba Pong. So I'll see you at the usual place later. Yeah, I get it. Oh. I'll see you later. Who was that just now? Nobody, okay? It's fine. Oh. Oh, right. I should probably tell you. I'll be late getting home again tonight. You've been gone every night for a while now. Where have you been going? Mm. Tokisaka Shrine? You don't need to know. Hey. Go ahead and get yourself dinner. Don't wait up for me, okay? <sighs> right now. After sundown, I'll wait for him at Tokisaka Shrine. No point just sitting around waiting for him. I'll have to kill time for a while. <sighs> that damn Okino. Is that what this money was for? Just a bribe to appease me? <sighs> no, I'm getting too worked up about this. Damn his allowance. I can spend this all right now. What the fuck was that about? What the fuck? Mm, mm, delicious. Mm, mm, delicious. Mm, mm, delicious. That explains why three of them were added to the thought cloud. Something's going on with him. I can tell.
What now? What? It feels like he's hiding something. It's sold out. Sokino planning with that girl. <sighs> okay, where did he get another yakisoba pan from? Oh no. What time is it? I need to hurry over to Tokisaka Shrine. I'm guessing this is when Tomi blackmailed Okino to help her. I can't believe I overslept. It's so late. The two of them must be long gone by now. Prop my hell. No choice. We'll wait here and confront them when they return. If I recall, this is when they... When they went and found sh... Oh! Ogata. I'll be damned. Hey, Hijiyama. You remember all that shit you put me through? Because I sure as hell do. Yep, this is when Tamao Kurabe infected Juro with the. Uh, well, I guess with uh, Juro Izumi. <laughs> now that I think about it, I don't know how you escaped, but I see how it is. You came looking for another black eye. Try it. See what happens. Ogata kun, aren't we here to look for Kisaragi san? <sighs> yeah, okay, fine. Don't have time for this. Sorry to disappoint. We'll dance some other time. And that's your decision to make, huh? Selfish bastard. What the hell are you doing here anyways? I'm looking for Okino. What happened to him? This is just what I heard from Sawatari-san. But according to her, Kisaragi-san's been going out to meet some guy lately. She what? Just the two of them? Must be that girl from this afternoon. <laughs> So this Okino you're looking for, is that Tsukasa Okino? What, you know him? Not exactly. So that's who Kisaragi ran off with. Got a feeling I know where they went to. What? How? Uh, she mentioned something about it. By the way, do you know how to work this time travel business? Uh, oh, you don't know either? <laughs> really? <sighs> really? Did you have to take the same hiding spot? It's too hot over here now. Move over there. Shut it. If it's so damn stuffy, then you take a hike. God damn it. I'm sick of all these mosquitoes. Maybe they didn't even go today. Well, Karabe already went home, but I ain't leaving until I know what's going on here. Same here. The way things are, I feel like I don't know anything anymore. Oh, yeah, this is when Juro found the android's body in the dumpster. So, this girl, Kisaragi, what kind of relationship do you two have? Uh, she's... You know, a friend. A friend, huh? Okino hasn't been wearing the dress lately. Did he drop it for the sake of getting close to her? Maybe you weren't the person I thought you were, Tsukasa Okino. Shh. They're coming. If I'm correct, they should come back with uh, Shu and Natsuno, right? Seriously, I'm not lying. I know I saw that image pop up. I know. The access logs confirm you got in. The question is, why didn't we get a response? What? Okino! Hey, idiot, don't just jump out! Ogata? What the heck are you doing here? Ah, shut up. Huh? Don't tell me. Are you a little jealous? 
That's totally it, right? <laughs> Why is Ijiyama's story root just full of comedic comedic scenes for fuck's sake? For you. Is that what this is about? You got jealous? Don't be ridiculous. I was just I was just I'm worried about you, that's all. Mm. You went to that underground place, right? Well, well, the androids were all broken anyway. I mean, heck, if something had happened to you. Moron. <sighs> also, ah, how cute, how touching. I want to know how to save everyone. If there's a way, then tell me, please. I understand. I'm doing my best to find the right answer here. I don't know if it'll be enough to save everyone, but it could make a difference at least. I'll tell you all I know. It's getting late. You should all go home. Huh? Come on, Oak. You know, you kidding me? Oh, uh, come on. I'll explain everything on the way back. So walk me home, please. Damn it. You got off easy this time, Oak, you know. Now, we'd better get going. To where? The Tower of Knowledge. That's where it all starts. To the what? What is this? I told you about this before. We're inside the buried UFO. So this was built by humans from the future? Or extraterrestrials, potentially. So this UFO, it's somewhere deep underground? Let's see. First, you'd better take a look at this. I know that shoreline. That's Ashitaba City in the middle. And 300 meters below the surface, we have this. The saucer. Around 30 kilometers in diameter. That's gigantic. So this is what the Daimos had been chasing? Exactly. The UFO's also in Sector 5. Which means it's also buried there in 1945. The people there disappeared when Daimos came into contact with it. Same as in my time. But there's only one left still fully functional. And that's the one in 1985. We know there's a pattern to the attacks. 40-year gaps going chronologically backwards. Then why has nothing happened in 1985? Why skip that year and go straight to my time? That's actually pretty sharp. Especially for you. Hey, now. It's because 1985 is kind of an outlier. Someone in that time has the decode control key. In other words, That'd be the one sending commands to the Daimos. That's why they never mounted a full attack. They just went straight to Sector 5. Sector 4 will be the final target on their list. Which means 1985 will be our last line of defense. So in the end, we can't stop the commands? Well, you already know the situation. We have no idea who's actually summoning them. Even then, killing the source would be meaningless. Someone else would just start broadcasting the signal. Anyone implanted with the inner Lossiter is a candidate. Any one of them can be the Daimos' wayfinder. So even I might be... Yeah. Even you could be the one luring them to us. One guy had his own plan. Murder everyone who had an inner Lossiter. No more signal. He thought that might save the world. If it meant I could save my homeland. Hey, you can't fault Izumi for that thought process. I would gladly give my life. <clears throat> so why do we have it in the first place? Who modified us with that inner Lossiter? Is, is that what they wanted? To destroy the world? Like I said, there's still a lot we don't know. Besides which... It's this UFO that's abducting people. We don't know much about the Inner Lossiter, but it's general use information technology from 2188. It's got that decode sending out commands, but 
That's comparatively a very minor part of its function. Wait, minor? That's the part I don't get. Something else is eating up over 80% of the Interlocitor's processes. Some totally unrelated function. Nothing to do with the decode. I tried to find out what function the system's prioritizing, but I just... I don't know. None of this makes sense. The data throughput of the decode isn't that much. It basically just needs to maintain a link to the person commanding the Dimos, and access three locations at regular intervals. One of the access points is the mainframe of the UFO, Universal Control. Might have to do with the reason people disappear. I'd need more data to know for sure. The second point of access is Sector 1, the automated factories in the year 2105. The factories weren't destroyed when they attacked. They're using them to manufacture more Dimos. That's where the Sentinels were created, too. And the final access point, by my guess, would be the thing Tomi Kisaragi saw. Some kind of satellite in orbit. And from its data banks, they're pulling blueprint data for the Dimos themselves. Even knowing all that, though, are we... Any closer to saving the world? It's a long shot, but if I can figure out this UFO and the orbital contact point, it's possible we can bring back the people who disappeared. <sighs> but yeah, it feels like I'm still overlooking something. Something a bit more fundamental. Unlock condition Renya Goto's hypocrisy. Okay.